Hey everyone, welcome to season two, episode three of these exercise bike videos. Uh, thank you for joining me today. If you've missed any of the previous ones, feel free to go back and try them out. Um, today we're doing 30 minutes and we're going to be doing um, a warm up first to get ready. Um, this warm up is going to be three, uh, four minutes long. So go ahead and settle in on your bike. Make sure you're at the right seat height. Make sure your arms are relaxed, that your shoulders are relaxed, that you're, uh, you're not feeling like there's any weird pressure. We should get started here. Um, once again, my name is Jordan Gibby. If you don't know who I am yet, I am not a professional exercise bike instructor, but I do this in the winter to stay in shape so I can ride bikes in the spring. A um, little, little bit more about me. Um, I love to mountain bike and um, I work uh, full-time as a video production specialist person, so that's why this is overdone. Um, but I do enjoy interacting with all of you and doing this during the winter, especially because the winter just sucks. <laughs> and there are fun things to do in the winter, but a lot of it costs a lot of money. So I try to try to keep things as cheap as I can. Um, I did notice last time in my other class, I had some issues with the microphone. So I'm trying something different here to try to fix it a little bit better. So fingers crossed it works. Um, as we're going today, this is your first time, or you've done this before, we want to get a good healthy cadence. Cadence is the speed of your legs, how fast they're going. And as we're going through our cadence, you want to get a rhythm. So one, two, one, two, one, two, that type of rhythm so you can kind of keep it going throughout the ride today. Also, we're going to talk about zones. Four zones. I'm trying to make these this list over here match up with what I'm saying out loud. So zones are levels of resistance. So think of zone one as what we're in now. It's easy, we're just chill. You could probably do this for eight hours. It's not very hard. There's very little resistance, if any. Zone two is something that you would have to work for, but you wouldn't hurt from it. It wouldn't hurt you. So think like uh, walking up some stairs, like a small flight of stairs. There's resistance, but it's not like crazy. And then zone three is hard. So we're easy, medium, hard. Hard is something that you wouldn't want to do very long, if at all. Um, so we want to keep that, that zone at bay, but do what we need to. And then the last zone is zone four, which is a zone that we barely go into, if at all. And I usually reserve zone four for the end of the ride. So keep that in the back of your head as in your mind as you're, as you're going. I need to turn off my notifications here and all kinds of uh, texts and stuff coming into my phone. Um, I wonder if I can turn those off. I'm gonna swipe down here and go into airplane mode. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my recording. Okay, if that stopped, no, it didn't stop my recording, okay, good. Um, as we're getting ready here for the rest of the ride, keep in mind that our cadence, it can change over time depending on resistance, but keeping it consistent makes it easier for you as a rider to kind of feel like you're getting a consistent workout and not going crazy. So keep your cadence as consistent as you can. And then also focus on relaxing your upper body. From here up, there isn't a lot that you can do for these pedals that you're from here down. So try to focus on giving yourself the power in the legs and then focus on breathing up here. So in this first, first segment here on this side over here, segments and then total time of each segment on this side. Four, three, two, one. This is a medium zone two. So we're in zone one currently. We're gonna bump it up to zone two by just adding some resistance on your knob on your bike. So add a little bit, give it a crank. We're not sweating yet. And you should know if you're sweating because <laughs> you'll definitely feel it. So this is zone two. We wanna do this for a minute and we want to recover back in zone one. So we're going to be dancing up and down between these two zones to kind of get a better idea of where they are. And also, as they get too easy, add some resistance each time if you need to, so, they don't, so they're not too easy. So we don't want to cheat ourselves out of a workout. So give yourself the freedom to push a little bit harder. And remember, this is only 30 minutes, and we're already five minutes in. There's only 25 minutes left. So... Yeah, we're already through the hard stuff. <laughs> Just kidding, I lied. All right, pull it back in three, two, one. Pull that back. 
Ooh, it's almost too easy. There we go. Remember, not, not weightless. You want resistance on this. So a little bit of resistance on your feet. We're trying to get that heart rate to come up. So your resting heart rate, which is like when you're sitting on the couch, isn't the heart rate you want. You don't want that heart rate when you're working out. So we want to bring it up. That way we, we can pump more blood, get more calories burned, just all of the above. So we have 28 seconds left. We'll go back from that medium zone two for a minute. Then we'll recover for a minute. So over here on this side, those are the items we're working on. Once again, this side over here, total time of each segment. Let's get a countdown timer, like an egg timer. <laughs> All right, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, push some resistance in. Maybe a little bit more than last time. Come on, let's see. Let's see you all push a little more. There we go. 52, 51. I'm feeling good here. So we're going to recover for a minute in zone one after this. So we're in zone two, which is medium. So it's easy, medium, hard, hardest. We're in medium, which is zone two. This should be kind of hard, but not too hard. I made it yellow so you can kind of know. It's like a yellow light. You're kind of in between going, you know. All right. You probably noticed I'm wearing these cycling pants. Figured I might as well use them if I'm inside. You know, outdoors, I like using just mountain bike shorts, but indoors, I don't need to hold anything. So it doesn't really matter to wear shorts over shorts. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Pull that back. I'm feeling some heart, heart rate going up. So deep breath in, deep breath out. So right now we're at 22 minutes left in the ride. What I hope is that you feel like you're really starting to work out here. Like it's starting to feel a little bit, like you're a little bit winded, like I am. And we're going to push into a hard zone. So we were on easy. We're currently on easy, which is zone one. We're into zone two, which is medium. Zone three. How do you guys do threes? Like this or like this? I don't know. Zone three is a hard zone. That's going to feel like you're running or like you're skipping every other step really fast up the stairs, maybe for two or three flights of stairs. We want to do that for a minute. We want to be out of breath. So we should be sweating soon. So let's crank it down here in two, one. That's one crank. That's two cranks. That's three cranks for me right there. Woo. That is hard. That's uncomfortable. I'm not going to talk through this because I got to focus. And you should be focusing on that resistance. Okay. Let's go. I'm not cheating. If you're cheating, you're cheating yourself. Let's go. Halfway. Man, this is tough. Okay, 22, 21, 20. Keep it going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull that off. Recover for a minute. We're going to go straight back into a hard zone again. Zone three for a minute. Right after this. What was I thinking? So I've been making these workouts myself just based on how it feels when I'm riding a trail. I'm trying to copy the shell conditions. Okay, 20 seconds. Everyone get ready. Do this with me. Don't give up. We gotta do this together here. 10, nine, eight. And if I can do it, you can do it. So four, three, two, one. Crank it back down again. 
Another minute here and suffer zone. This is zone three of four zones. So this is hard. We're skipping those steps up the stairs, carrying those bags of groceries. Trying to catch your flight. That same feeling, discomfort, she's sweating. I can feel sweat coming on right now. Oh well, shoot, this is tough. Come on, 18, 17, let's go. Make it harder if you need to. This is tough. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, recover. Two whole minutes. It's two minutes of recovery. That feels terrible. It should not be easy. Easy is what you get to do all day as far as physical exertion. Even if you're in a labor job or anything like that, which I've done a lot of those, you have to remember this time right now, this is for you to focus on yourself. And you're willing to give someone eight hours of your day, either not exercising or lifting boxes, whatever it is, give yourself 30 minutes to do this, even on a Saturday. I don't care, as long as you can get out and do stuff, stay healthy. And I'll tell you what, when you hit 30, I don't know if you guys are 30 or not, but or above, it gets harder. And I know it gets way harder the older you get. Um, shout out to those of you who've been following along, been receiving some videos from people, which is awesome, seeing them do the rides, getting the exercise, feel free to shoot one to me, you know, if you'd like to. Um, love receiving feedback. I think it's awesome. Feels more like a community if we're doing it together. Obviously, I'm by myself, but whatever. All right, 12, 11, 10. This next segment, see how it says small hill zone one to three. We're starting here on this zone one. I am sweating. Ooh. Okay. What we want to do is start this progression from an easy up to a hard, um, from easy, medium, hard. So those three levels. So when we get to 330, add a little bit of resistance. It's progressive. So a little bit here, a little bit there. Before you know it, we'll be in the hard zone to finish off this hill. We're starting to climb. Okay, add some resistance here. Ooh, just that first little part of the hill. I don't know about you, but I'm sure not feeling 22. <laughs> All right. Do not know why I quoted that. That makes no sense. Okay. <clears throat> okay, as we're climbing this hill, just think about how you're going to make it to the top. The top is always going to be closer the further you go. So the more we climb, the closer you are to being done. Okay. At 2.30, we're going to be fully inside that medium, medium zone. Number two, zone two. So we're not quite there, but we're close. So in seven seconds, we're going to be dropping in right out of the sky into zone two here. All right, add some resistance on that knob. Turn it down a little bit. I am feeling that resistance. Okay. Okay, two, 15, 14. We're gonna stay here for a minute. At the minute mark, we'll be back at zone three. End of the hill. 
for a minute, okay? You may be asking, why didn't you break these up into smaller short segments? Well, sometimes you have to gauge your resistance over time. That's gonna change. So, your zone two right now should feel harder than it was at the beginning. Because you're warmed up, you're actually a little bit stronger now on this ride. Okay, still in zone two, but I'm feeling it. It's so hard to talk and ride. I'm sweating, if you're not sweating yet, either up your cadence or up your resistance. Pick one and lean into it. Okay, four, three, two, one, zone three. Let's go. I'm feeling that one. Focus, come on, focus. Relax your shoulders. Stick that chest out, stick that butt out. Feel the pain, lean into the pain. We recover for two minutes after this. Don't give up on me now. Let's go. We can do this. Give yourself some dumb reason to keep going right here. 13, 12. Come on now. This is tough. Three, two, one. Recover. Pull that back. I can't, can't talk. I tend to over talk in these anyways, so consider this a break. Okay, as you can see over here, we got 12 minutes left. So we are like two thirds or more because the cool down's easy through this ride. So don't give up on me here. This is once again a zone one. And if you're feeling adventurous, Maybe add a little bit of resistance right here. Woo. All right. Also, if you're a subscriber, I'm trying to give you more of these just to use to variate your exercise. I mean, you could go watch the same video over and over, which I've seen like tons of people doing, which is super awesome. But if you have anything in mind, specific workouts, let me know and I'll do my best to incorporate them. And I'm still trying to figure out a way to get this music thing figured out because like I said, I don't want these being pulled down because of music copyright strikes. It's not because I'm monetizing, I'm not. Um, it's really because I want people to have access to them anywhere. Okay, this next section over here, over here, this right here, Number 12, high cadence. So we're speeding up the feet, adding some resistance. That's for a minute, zone two. The full crank for me, high resistance. High cadence, both together. And then right after this, it's the hard zone. So we have that easy, medium, hard, and hardest, going for the hard zone right after, okay? Let's go. That's number three, the hard zone. And breathe. I am dying right here. I'm sweating like crazy. You should be too. Come on, give it an effort here. Seven, six, five, going to zone three, going up. 
And resistance. Well, shoot, dang. This is hard. We got a three minute recovery coming up. So give it what you got right here. I'm gonna focus. You focus too. Let's go. Okay, 30. Come on. This is a long, long 30 seconds. Right here. I'm dying, people. Holy crap. Eight, seven, come on. Let's go. One, pull it up. Zone two, we're recovering in a zone two. Why? Well, it's because we have the end coming up and we need our heart rate to stay really high. So stay with me on this. We're in zone two. This is crazy. Every time I do one of these, I think that's enough. That's plenty of videos. But I get a lot of people messaging me saying thanks and I want to keep everyone together on this because it holds me accountable, stay in shape, and I usually call somebody out in the video. So I'll be thinking of someone's name and call them out. So I know who's watching these or should be watching these. See if they watch it. Oh. Okay. Going back to that hard zone again here in a minute. Hard zone three. So of four zones, zone three is hard. You feel like crap. You look like crap afterwards. You look like me. You know, it's a zone that makes you go bald. You know, so you don't stay there very long. All right. We are close, everyone. Trying to keep smiling. That positive ride attitude. Relax your arms. We've got a minute left. I'm adding a hair of resistance here. It's a little bit too easy. There we go. Got to bring that talking down, right? Okay. Okay. Collect yourself. That's right. And I'm going to call out my good friend, James, James C. You know who you are. You're going to be seeing this in your inbox. I'm going to be saying your name right here. See if you watch this far. Let me know if you're here or not. Also, anyone else? Feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like and I'll work on it. All right, five, four, three, two, one, go up. Hard zone, let's go. Full minute, come on. Let's all focus here. We're gonna do this in silence. I need to focus. I don't wanna cheat you all. Adding more resistance, even more. We've got a minute recovery. But I have a surprise for everyone right at the end. We're in zone three. That's three of four zones, that's hard. Let's go. Um, come on. Relax your shoulders, chest out, butt out. Come on, come on. Nine, eight, seven. Minute recovery, come on. Two, one. 
Minute recovery. Take a peek over here. Take a peek at this. We have one minute of the hardest. That's right. Scientifically named the hardest of the four. So we had easy draw now. Medium, hard, hardest. It's a little pinky. So on hardest, basically go to a stupid level of resistance. You can barely handle it. You're going slow. It's not easy. We just want to push. And there's a three minute recovery after that. We go back to his zone, down to his zone two or one. So four, three, two, one, crank it down. Slow moving feet in the molasses. Let's go there. This is a dark place in your mind here. I mean, this, this zone, it hurts. Full minute. Close your eyes if you need to. Really focus. Oh, man. Crap. Let's go. Help me through this. Come on. Let's all do it together. Add more if you need to. Let's go. Push it. Don't give up on me. 12 seconds. Relax your shoulders. Elbows down. Push through it. Five. Three, two, one. Pull it off. We're recovering. This is an active cool down. Holy crap. Okay. I'm drenched with sweat. Don't know if you can tell, but that was so hard. Okay. We've got two minutes left from this cool down. Then we'll stretch. Recover. Come on, breathe. I'm telling myself to breathe. Come on. That's so hard every time. And it's not possible to hit zone four unless you've gone through zone one, two, and three. That's how I operate. I never just jump into zone four like that. And uh, I really like to be warmed up. Now, you saw we jumped from recovery to zone four. We're already warmed up. Our legs, they're good to go. They're locked and loaded. You know, if you jump on your bike and hope to have a stellar ride on the first pedal stroke, you're doing it wrong. You got to give yourself, give yourself the time to really get a meaningful workout. And that's what I try to do every single ride indoors like this is to really care about the quality of ride that I'm doing, not the quantity. So, Maybe you're trying to check boxes for New Year's. That's not the bandwagon to be on. That one always crashes and burns. One to be on is your own. Build your own wagon. <laughs> All right, 50, 50 seconds left. Go ahead and pull a little more resistance off as we cool down. I'm back down to a zone one now. If you're in zone two still, just give your legs that time to cool down. We don't want to be just dead stopping it. That can hurt. As in, like, feel weird and that'd be good for you. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining today. Um, as you can see, the ride is almost over here on this side. I really appreciate everyone showing up virtually after the fact. Um, this is free. Um, it's just meant to be something to do. I'm not a pro. I don't claim to be one, and I don't have any kind of weird business model. It's just me on a bike. In the winter, I'm a real person. So three, two, one. Okay, done.
Let's go ahead and roll our legs to a stop here, kind of coast. Kind of let them slow down. Now pull them to a stop. Left leg back. We're gonna straighten our legs. Stand up, straighten your back, drop your heels. Elbows down. We'll count it out. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, rotate legs. Right leg back, drop heels, same thing. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, go ahead and bring your legs off. Stand on your mat, whatever you're on. Okay, deep breath in, deep breath out. Pull up your left leg by the toe, bring it to your butt, count it out. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let your foot down, grab your other toe on your right leg, bring it up to your butt, count it out. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down slowly. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Feel free to check out the other one wherever I post it um, if you want to catch up or do any other rides. Um, and be looking, to for, looking, be looking for you in the next one. I don't have a sign off, so see you on the next one, I guess.